I think Sandy Koufax was the highest paid player at one point making $130,000 a year. But players, they didn't have agents negotiating no, in contracts. Fact, the, Reds, the Reds were the last team that uh, allowed representation on your behalf to come in the office. Right, and you Every were other there. team was like that. But, uh, you know, the, the Reds had it their way for a long time. Imagine you're a 22-year-old kid, you're sitting here negotiating your contract, and you got the farm director there, you got the assistant general manager there, you got the general manager there, and you got the president team there. And there's no free agency no, no either, free so agency. you're the largely at the, the mercy yeah. of the owner's generosity. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, uh, it was tough in them days. I mean, the owners had it all their own way. It's, it's not quite like that today, but uh, they knew they had you because what else you're going to do? You're going to play ball. You're going to play ball. I mean, I held out every year because I, one one reason I held out every year because I knew I not, normally had good years, and secondly, uh, spring training's too long. I, the only thing good about spring training was going to the dog track. That's the only thing good about it. I mean, it's, it's just I don't need six weeks of spring training. Pitchers may need that much, but I didn't need that much. I needed two and a half, three weeks. I mean, I, I thought that spring training was a waste of money for a lot of organizations paying us the per diem and for meal money and hotel accommodations and stuff like that. I, I just always still do think spring training is too long. It's even, it, it really today it's too long because most, if not all the players today have their own gurus working with them all year round. We didn't have no, nobody working with us all year round. How do we, how do we stay in shape? Play basketball. We had a basketball team. And you also likely had a second job, too, where yeah, many other players did. Yeah, sure. and I played tennis and basketball. That's how I stayed in shape. You ever wonder if you were in your prime today what you'd be making? Well, I don't know what I'd be making, but whatever the top dollar is, I'd be making. Because I'd, because I'd never lost an arbitration. Because I was, even, a, even a bad year for, it was a good year for me.